So lately I've been boosting my alt priest using my 60 warrior. This might not be as fast as mage boost, but honestly, it's pretty damn good. I haven't done a single quest on my priest alt since about level 20. I haven't really done a proper instance group either. It's all been boosting my priest using my 60 warrior with my priest healing him. And this leveling process is going fast. It might not be up there with a the mage boost, but it's definitely fast. I do this using a basic dual boxing setup, which I'm going to show in this video. So basically how this happens is, I didn't make a single alt or anything for the longest time when Classic came out. All my focus went into my main character, which is my warrior. And finally I figured I should make an alt. Now, uh, I decided on a priest just because I like the class and figured I could change things up by doing some healing. I decided I'd make a new account for this just so I'd have something to do while sitting on world buffs on my main and maybe I'd play both accounts at the same time once I 60 on the priest just to have some backup heals when I needed. But it wasn't my top priority, it was kind of an afterthought and I figured it's worth it to have two accounts I guess. But uh, I didn't care about the leveling process and I just wanted to get this guy to 60 ASAP. I quickly realized that dungeon boosts were just by far the fastest method but I can't really afford to pay a mage 50 gold per hour to boost me. So I started just using my warrior to level my priest, which was kind of my intention, but how efficient this got surprised me. So I should note that with this technique I'm using, with having a 60 warrior main with a healer, it kind of needs to be a healer that's getting boosted to heal the warrior. Unlike if you have a 60 mage to boost, it doesn't matter. You're doing all the work, you can use any class as the alt. But uh, after running my priest through a couple of dungeons, I figured out, I'd say, around the time I was in Scarlet Monastery, when I was trying to go for these bigger and bigger pulls, that I could actually keep my warrior alive with the heals from my low level priest. And in, in some cases, just pull a crazy amount of mobs and get crazy amounts of experience per hour. So one thing I will note is in some of this background footage I've got another guy too, he's on a shaman. I just picked this guy up once or twice to drop Wind Fury for me, which just makes things really get crazy. But the norm was just me and my priest just going at it. Having that shaman was kind of out of the regular. Right away I wanted to get more efficient with this method. So I looked into some dual boxing software. I found some basics that are more than good enough for me right now to do this. I downloaded uh, Hockey.net, which is a free software. Then I took a basic example script that they provide on their website. What this script is, is for two WoW clients running on one PC. And changes can be made to this so that whatever key you want to send to both of these WoW clients that you have running can be mapped and all set up from there. So when my two WoWs are open, pressing Control R uh, and then Control T renames them so that they can take commands from this script. When I press scroll lock, the key presses that I signed in the script will get sent to both of my WoWs. So what I did for my initial basic setup is set Y to heal my warrior, H to flash heal my warrior, R to flash heal my priest, G to follow my warrior, V to stop following, and then D to drink water. So pressing these keys will send commands to the client that my priest is on while I'm playing my warrior normally on the other client. So one other th note about the script is that I did have to make a slight change uh, to account for what I think is a bug, where when launching WoW it created a ghost process before launching the actual client. So these ghost uh, processes were getting renamed instead of the clients that I'm playing on. So uh, the change here renames the ghosts first, then the actual clients, and that fixes this. Um, I think there could be a lot of possibilities with this. Right now I'm using it just for basic things, just for leveling. But I plan to slowly get more complicated here with the key presses and so on. So I'd say comparing this to a mage boost, just taking a guess, I'd say if a mage was getting me say a thousand XP per hour, I would say that doing this with a warrior is getting maybe 75,000, so really not bad at all. Another thing about this is that it's actually pretty decent gold at the same time. 
it's about 30 gold per hour in SM, and that seems to be going way up now that I'm actually in ZF doing graveyard runs. That's where some gold's really coming in here. I could say I'm actually farming at this point, so stuff that I'd be doing on my main anyways. And um, once I'm done ZF, I'll see if it's possible to maybe do some BRD Gorshak farms with these two. Then probably DM East jump runs once I'm 60 and get mining leveled up on the priest. Might even sneak both of these guys into MC both at once. So I'll see if I can sneak that through without getting caught there. But yeah, I guess I'll, I'll see how far I can push this. Side, my lady. <laughs> 